There are some really big changes afoot with respect to food and agriculture R&D worldwide. I mean, the, the structure uh, of that investment in food and agriculture R&D has been changing and it's seemingly at an accelerating rate. So uh, um, 50, 60 years ago, a substantial share of food and agriculture R&D was done by the public sector. And there was, there was some, but comparatively small private sector engagement in that space. Uh, now the um, private sector has grown substantially, particularly in the richer countries of the world, but also in some of the rapidly growing middle income countries. Uh, China, uh, Brazil and India have been uh, really investing substantial amounts of public dollars uh, uh, in their research systems. At the same time, they've also been developing their private systems. So where in the world that science is taking place is uh, shifting uh, quite dramatically. Uh, streamlining our capacity to do science in a re into regional or international way, I think uh, over the, in the 21st century, we need a lot more institutional innovation uh, to think about these partnerships. Complacency is not in order. Uh, 2050 might seem like a long way away, but the lags between investing in R&D and having a consequence in the farmer's field are very long. That's a, not a year process, that's a decadal process. So what we're doing now is of consequence for global agriculture in 2040, 2050.